Apollo 11 was the climax of a very well thought out engineering program. We had Apollo 7 was in Earth orbit to check out the brand new spacecraft. Apollo 9, we flew the command service module and the lunar module for the first time. Apollo 10, we flew to the moon. We did everything we would do in the moon, like a big rehearsal. And on Apollo 11, we landed, just like we planned. <laughs> so it wasn't that it was anticlimactic, it was just something we planned to do and prove, and we did. Most of the time, we, we had little personal contact with the three astronauts. They were busy training, and they had other training that, that didn't involve us. We were busy training, and then we would meet them for integrated training. You know, they would, they'd be in, their, in the simulator in another building, we'd be in the control center, and we would act like it was a real mission. But as far as, uh, 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 as far as uh, personal interaction before they flew, there wasn't much. It never was. I mean, they, and that's my personal opinion that the, uh, the early astronauts considered us flight controllers anything very important. They thought they considered us just part of the vast uh, a, a group of uh, engineers and scientists on the ground that would support their mission. We thought we were special. <laughs> we were so busy just training, uh, learning the spacecraft, fixing the spacecraft, uh, and actually then doing a mission to, you know, the test missions, like every two months, every three months we were doing something. We didn't have time to really think whether we were doing something that was historic. We had no historic perspective. All we knew was that we were doing something important, but we didn't have time to think anything beyond that. And even after Apollo 11 landed, we still we were still working, still working on mission trainings for other missions. But we knew it was important. Retrouve chaque mois les Curionautes dans ton magazine et sur curionautes.com.